Hey, what's up guys? Johnny here back with another Call of Duty Mobile video. Yesterday, I finally completed my push to Pro 1 in Ranked Multiplayer and I unlocked that beautiful AK-117 Star Camel. You guys can have it too. The season is not over. Season is scheduled to end on November 25 and all you gotta do to unlock that weapon is reach Pro 1 rank. Now, in my last push to get to Pro 1, I realized I was using quite often the DLQ33 Sniper. So in today's video, I want to show you guys my best loadout for the DLQ33 Sniper in Rank Multiplayer. And I want to share with you guys some gameplay from my final push. And before we start, just a reminder, I have a huge giveaway on the channel ending November 23, just in time for Season 2. I'm giving away 7 Season Pass, 6 on my YouTube and 1 on my Twitter. So look for that video on my channel. And in the comments, leave your name or email if you're on Garena. And then tell me if you want iTunes or Google Play. I will pick six random winners in the comment. Then look for my tweet on Twitter. Retweet that tweet for a seven chance to win. Now, once again, you have to be subscribed to my YouTube channel to win. All right, so let's start with the loadout, guys. I have two loadouts that I use for rank multiplayer. I always end up using these two loadouts pretty much exclusively. So first loadout is my AK-117 loadout. I just got the Star Camel, but I was still using another AK-117. Then the second loadout I have here is my DLQ-33 loadout. And I end up using that one on longer maps or on medium maps that I have a route with long range battles. The sniper is really good in ranked multiplayer. It's a one shot to the upper body and it's pretty accurate. I thought the fire rate didn't matter that much since you really often will one shot your enemies. So let's go with the loadout. Yes, I use a tactical scope on my sniper. And guys, there's a lot of hate in the community for tactical scopes on sniper. I've seen some threads on Reddit about people bashing the tactical scope user, calling them noobs and no skill or whatever. But guys, it's just really good. Why would you not use it in rank? Rank multiplayer is all about winning. You gotta use what's best. And this is really, really good. Now the attachments I use are stock, uh, FMJ, and extended mag. I mean, you don't wanna be reloading too often. If you can avoid reloading during the battles, you'll reload when you have a timeout but definitely don't want to run out of ammo during a fight. Now, secondary weapon, I don't think is a big deal. If you want to go with rocket launcher, definitely go with rocket launcher. I decided to go with a pistol on that class, but I use rocket launcher also very often. Now let's go with the perks. I think it's a pretty important part. Agile on sniper class is very, very good because if you sprint and you face someone, you're gonna aim down sight 80% faster. It's very quick. And for quick scoping, it's a key perk. Now, second perk is toughness. On all my sniper class, I use toughness now. Because if you go face to face with someone, it's gonna shoot at you for sure. And you wanna make sure you don't miss your shot. So you will finch less if you get hit. And make sure you hit your target. You only need one shot, but if you hit, you win the fight. Now, last perk is dead silence. Guys, I use dead silence in all my class now on rank multiplayer. It's very good, especially when you get search and destroy. Being able to move undetected is a key to winning search and destroy, especially when you're the last guy standing. You don't want everyone to know where you are. Sometimes you want to reposition and it's very a tactical game mode. So dead silence, guys. So many times I won games because I could hear my opponents. It is crazy. It makes a huge difference. So guys, I really suggest you use dead silence, not just on sniper class, in any class in ranked multiplayer. So the rest is personal. Sparrow I use in all my class now. I think it's the best operator skill in the game. I had some doubts at the start, but after using it for a few weeks, I really believe now that this is the strongest operator skill in the game. And once again, type in the comments, guys, yes or no, is it the most powerful operator in the game? So I'll leave you guys with some gameplay now from my last push. I had two games that I did really good with the sniper. Of course, the last one I really, really wanted to win because I knew I was very close to pro one now the 17 6 game in team that match was pretty good i mean 17 in team that match is like half the kills for your team uh yeah i did die six times but yeah rank multiplayer i rarely go uh and not die it's very hard good players especially when you start ranking up people start like they know what they're doing right so I'll leave you guys with some gameplay. Enjoy the gameplay with the DLQ33 sniper. I will be back soon. Until then, watch my other videos. Take care. Grenade out! Sniper! 
Sniper down! Sniper eliminated! I'm down! Hostiles have destroyed your sentry gun. Headshot. Objective almost complete. Keep it up. Headshot. Target down. Reloading. Why not live? Yes. Five five. Get ready for the next round. <sighs> and I was the guy. It, it was not moving. If I shot first, it was over. Oh no, I'm using the sniper here. Aww. Grenade out! I don't want to peek here. Freaking dude. Freaking dude. Last man standing. Yeah, Fish. one V three dude, good job. Sniper eliminated. So it's me versus the sniper dude, right? Oof! Time's 
almost up. Oh, tactical skull. Ooh. Like, dude. Come back. <laughs> 